Hello, my name is Chris Prasojo and I do product marketing for Avaya Networking Asia Pacific. In this short video, I will show you in four simple steps on how to set up Avaya Internet Routing Switch ERS 3500 series with your existing Avaya IP phones and IP office. For the demo purpose in this video, I will use two existing Avaya IP phones that will be connected to the switch using two Ethernet cables right there and also to connect the switch to the IP office using another Ethernet cable and for the setup purpose of the switch I will be using another Ethernet cable that will be connected to the computer using the serial port we have it here right. so there you go that's all the thing that we need to set up this new switch to make it work with your existing phone network so I'm going to just jump right in to the first step, which is to unpack the box. So take out the new ERS3500 uh, series from the box. So there you go, we have the switch right here. And also the power cable to power the unit up. And let's just put it aside. Out from the plastic, down. Put it aside. There you go. So I'll be using this um, 10 ports ERS3510 GD with PoE Plus to power up the phones. So that's the first step. And the second step is to connect this new switch to the computer using the internet cable with, through the serial port. So I'm going to go and connect this cable to the console port on the switch and that will go to the serial port on the computer. Now that's fairly easy. Now we go to the third step which is to configure the switch, this new switch to the computer. And of course we will need to power up the switch using the power cable supply there you go switch it on and pull jump into the computer to configure the new switch once the switch is connected through the serial port we can open up the terminal window here and choose the serial connection an open connection you'll see the window with a blank cursor so the first step that we do here is to press Control y to enable the command and you'll see at the prompt and you type enable and the next thing is we just run a single command here called run space IP office for automatic configuration of the switch Now, after that one simple command, we just need to wait for this other configuration to complete and in the meantime, I'll make a nice cup of tea and I'll be back shortly. Now that this configuration is now complete, we can proceed to the next step, which is the final step to connect the already configured ERS switch to the existing IP office and IP phones. So for that purpose, I will need to connect the IP office to the switch using this Ethernet cable. So we'll use the LAN port at the back of IP office and we'll go ahead and connect it to port number one of the switch. There you go. And of course, the IP office will need to be powered as well. So here's the power cord. I'll just go and connect it and switch on the main power. There we go. While it's running out, I will set up the next step, which is the phone using the Ethernet cable that we have here. So that will go to the back of the phone. phone as well. There. I will 
connected to the front part of the switch port and over here as well now you will see the phone is booting up and we'll just wait until the booting process is complete and we'll give it a try and make a phone call now that we have the phones ready and set up we'll give it a try and make a call between the two phones I'm gonna pick up this phone and dial extension 1202 phone is ringing, we'll pick it up, speaker phone working fine so there you go we made it very easy to um, set up this new switch to make it work with the existing IP office and IP phones. You can use the remaining ports on the switch here to connect your devices in the network. That includes the IP phones, computers, servers, and network printers. And you can also connect port number two to the existing in internet or um, intranet that you have in your network. With that, I thank you for your time and I'll see you again in the next video.